Hello, once again, it's me, Pastor Phil, and I've got some exciting news to share with you. Uh, this coming Sunday, May 17th, we will be reopening the doors of Harvest Worship Center. It seems like it's been such a long time since we were able to offer an on-campus worship service, but that's going to be happening this Sunday. need to make you aware of a few changes, however, that's taking place as you prepare to return to church. At the end of this, you can go to our website, which is trinehwc.com, and you can find a complete list of what I'm about to share with you at this time. Uh, as you prepare to return to church, there's a few things that we want you to understand. We will be offering, starting this Sunday, two services in the morning hours. We will be all having a 9 a.m. and an 11 a.m. service. We ask that you attend one of these services and the one you, you select that you stick with it so that we can make sure everyone has a chance to come and worship the Lord in person. Also, according to CDC guidelines, we will be screening individuals prior to entering the building. This is for the safety of you and your family. We want to come back to church, but we want to do it in a safe way. And so there will be a screening station that you will have to go through before you're allowed to enter the building and basically answer a few questions, let us check your temperature, and then come on in and worship the Lord. Also, we're asking that you follow all the instructions of our ushers, our greeters, our hosts, and our parking attendants. They are here to assist you, and so please uh, you know, follow their instructions for the safety of your family. The next thing I'd like to point out is uh, to maintain uh, sanitation, we will be uh, we will not be passing an offering plate, but located in uh, various places throughout the building will be giving stations where there are drop boxes for you to be able to pay your tithes and your offerings and still be obedient in your giving. So that will be offered as well. Also, according to CDC and state guidelines, um, we are restarting our on-campus services, but we're also asking, and I know this is a very difficult thing, if you're 65 and older, maybe it would be best at this time that you remain home. No, we won't turn you away if you decide to come, but for your safety, it might be best for you to remain home. State guidelines say that they are wanting people to do this 65 and older until June the 13th. Also, we request that everyone wear a mask. If you have a mask, please wear it to church service. If you don't have one, then that's okay too, but we would like for you to please wear a mask. Uh, we ask for you to help and assist children if they have a mask to keep that mask on during the service for the safety of everyone that is involved. Also, if you do not wear a mask, we're requiring and asking for you to stay at least six feet away in distance from everyone. Uh, that that is not housed at your location or at your home. Even if you have a mask, please maintain a few distance, a feet distance from those who do not uh, live in your location. Also, if you do not choose to wear a mask, we're asking you to cover your face while sneezing and coughing, and we will have plenty of tissues available. That's the one thing we can find for you to use. We request everyone who enters the building use hand sanitizer located at each entrance of the building, and you can do that before entering and also as you leave. Also, we are asking that parents and grandparents and guardians of children, uh, uh, that you assist them to the restroom facilities and back because we will not be offering nursery or children's ministry at this time at the campus, but we will be offering it online starting around 8 a.m. We ask that uh, at the end of each service, everyone exit the building uh, promptly and please return to your vehicle so that we we can sanitize the church and get ready for the next service. During this time, our fellowship hall and our gymnasium will be used as overflow areas. In other words, seating will be on a first come, first serve basis. We, we can seat about 60 people in the sanctuary and keep everyone safely distanced from one another. After the sanctuary is filled, we will be directing people into the gymnasium and into the fellowship hall uh, so that we can keep uh, everyone safe and distanced. Uh, uh, the way the government is asking us to do that at this time. If it is our goal to maintain a safe worship experience for you and your family, and if you do not feel safe, and I want to stress this, if you're like, I want to come back to church, but I just don't feel like it's time, 
I wanna encourage you, there will be no judgment on behalf of Harvest if you decide to stay home and worship online with us because that's still going to be available. Also, I wanna remind you that the early service beginning at 9 a.m., church doors will open uh, promptly at 8.30. They will not open before 8.30. This is to allow our volunteers to get in place and for us to uh, screen you properly so that we can have a great experience as we come back to church. The last thing I want to say is this. If you're a part of Harvest Worship Center, we need you to volunteer. We need people in the areas of, of host. We need people as greeters. We need parking attendants, and we need extra ushers during this time. This will allow us to make the worship experience for all who come to our church to to be maximized for the glory of God. We're looking forward to coming back to church. If you've got further questions, you can email us, and all you have to do is go to our website. Once again, that's tryinghwc. Uh, dot com and you can click the email link and email us any of your questions. Again, a complete list will be available online. We look forward to seeing you Sunday and we're looking, uh, looking for an awesome time in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's come ready to worship. God bless you and we will see you Sunday.